This week, Saints Alley, the Herald. Okay, so I want to start off by saying that I'm only buying this bottle because of Liquor Hound. That's the only reason that I'm reviewing this bottle. So that's the short, let me go ahead and give you the intro. Now, as you guys know on this channel, I try to stick with like common man, everyday things, whiskeys you can get everywhere. Not because the other stuff may not be as exciting, just because I believe that for most people, you know, whiskey or bourbon should be something that is a affordable luxury, something everyone should get. And when you start getting into these like limited editions and rare stuff, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like going to a strip club or something, you know, it gets you stimulated, it gets you excited, but if you're never gonna get it, what's the point? And I try not to do that to people. Speaking of that, one of the channels I've been watching for a couple years now is Liquor Hound, Chris, and it's a couple things that I like about that channel. The main thing is that he seems to have a lot of integrity just from the way that he talks and the way that he presents the information. I like the fact that he tries to keep it about the whiskey. Uh, a lot of times with these like whiskey tubers, I mean, they think they gotta try to be charismatic or entertaining or something, but like for me and other people, we don't really need that. I got Netflix, I got HBO Max, I got Paramount Plus, I have Disney Plus, I have a lot of entertainment covered. All I need is for a whiskey reviewer to just tell me about the whiskey, give me the details, let me know what they think, cut out all the gimmicks. And I like the fact that Chris does that. So when I was in Total Wine, and I just kind of saw this on the shelf and I was like, oh, what's this? And it said, okay, it says, uh, finished an Armagnac cask. And I was thinking to myself, okay, well, I like Armagnac cask because I did a review of a local whiskey from DC called Republic Restoratives. And that was pretty good. But then when I picked it up and I flipped around the back and it said, Chris Liquor Hound Trevino, I was like, oh, okay, I'm buying this. Immediately I knew it. I, wouldn't, I didn't even know this was out, but like once I saw that name there, and I know that this is a serious person and I just knew immediately that this is going to be associated with quality. So I'm not going to go into a lot of the background of it. He did a really good job. I will put a card up to the video where he talks about the whole deal about the collab with uh, Iron Root and everything else way better than me. But Chris, just want you to know if you watch this, I only bought this bottle because of you and I respect what you're doing. And hey, if I can help put a couple of dollars in your pocket, why not? So the short is this is a blend of bourbons finished in our Maniac cast coming in at 107 proof. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's see if I can give you guys a little bit of the color. Okay, so on the nose, the nose kind of reminds me of wine. And now I am outside, so that may be interfering with it, but the nose is not a strong bourbon nose. Kind of fruity, fruity here, hard to describe. The nose to me is not like Armagnac or Cognac nose, but it's got like a dryness. It kind of reminds me of some varietal of grape. I can't think about it, but yeah, nose is off the charts. Let's go in and go in for the first taste. Okay, so this is very interesting. Let me just break this down into what my opinion is of the different parts of it. On the palate, the mouthfeel is watery. It's not oily. On the palate, taste-wise, I'm not getting that much taste so far. Now, with that being said, this is 107 proof, and I know a lot of times it takes time for these things to open, but what I'm getting predominant is the dryness from the Armagnac cask, and I'm getting the wood. Finish is pretty quick. Let me go ahead and have another, another shot real quick. Yeah, finish is pretty quick. This to me is drinking more like a nice Armagnac than an actual bourbon, <laughs> which I don't know if that was the intent, but this is something that I would probably put into like a wine glass or something. I feel like this is kind of something like luxurious kind of. So just know if you get this, you're not going to have that typical bourbon notes, at least off the neck pour. That's why I got to go ahead and, um, spend some time with this, let it open up. My experience is that anything that's at this higher proof, for the most part, once it gets down past the uh, the shoulders of the bottle or something, it gets better. So let me go ahead and wrap this up. This is my first take of the Herald, number one from Iron Root and Chris Liquorhound on YouTube. 
I think on the taste, what I'm getting is a lot of the wood and the dryness of the Armagnac. Uh, mouthfeel is not thick, kind of watery, and the finish is going pretty quick. The nose so far is the star of the show. The nose is more of a wine than a bourbon, but overall very clean. I don't taste youth in here, so however they blended this, this is, this is aged. You could tell this is aged. So as you guys know how I do on the long term, you know, I gotta spend some time with this. And speaking of Texas right now, what I'm watching is on uh, Paramount Plus, they're doing uh, this series called, I think 1884, and it's supposed to be the prequel to Yellowstone. I don't really watch Yellowstone because I never thought that I was like the target demographic for that, but I do like period dramas and I do like very good set decoration. And just from the trailer that I saw of this 1884, I kind of like the Oregon Trail, wagon train type of stuff like that. But you know, hey, also like underground hip hop too, man. You gotta have range, man. Like, don't just be like a cliche explore different topics. So I will be watching 1884 or 1883 with this. And hey, when I come back, I'll let you guys know what I think. Thanks for watching. Dark Spirits, I'm out.